pa party. <laughs> How you doing? <coughs> oh, thank you, boy. Um, today, upper body. Um, this is going to be. I'm sitting down on my step. Okay. Um, and you can sit in a chair or you can do this standing, you can do this kneeling, um, it's up to you. Um, I, the reason why I want to sit down in this position is because all of these exercises I'm going to do, I'm going to be really working through my back as well. Okay, so we're starting with some shoulder presses um, and it just enables me to sit up in a nice straight position, I've got a towel for comfort. Um, sit up in a nice straight position, so I'm engaging my back throughout, okay? So if you don't have a step or anything like that, you can sit in a chair and believe me, you can do this standing as well. So if you prefer to do it standing, just make sure there's no swinging going on, okay? Because when you're doing it in a standing position, it's really easy to get, you know, that swing going on and we don't want that, okay? Um, and me sitting down in this low position, <laughs> Frankie, um, enables me to stay upright and engage my back muscles, okay? So just give me some arm circles while I'm gonna talk through what we're gonna do. Um, so I gave you a little insight yesterday of um, some German volume training, which we're gonna do today for upper body. Oh, it's gonna be mean. Um, it's a really good way of completely working your muscles to fatigue, um, so hypertrophy sets in um, and you should be using a weight where you're really struggling to um, achieve the rounds, okay, because we're going for 10 reps and 10 sets. Um, so yeah, just make sure that you're using a big enough weight um, that you can really fill this, okay. Um, so yeah, just get that upper body warmed up. Give me some rotations. Um, and you're probably feeling a little bit sore in the lower body, so thankfully we're um, working upper today. Um, now, again, with these steps, which I do, it will be amazing if you, if you did um, invest in a step, um, because it's really good. We're gonna be doing some chest flies, which again, you can do on the ground we're going to do some pullovers which again you can do on the mat on your back um, but it just enables you to get a little bit bigger range okay um, just pull back um, for instance when you're lying down on a um, on on there doing chest flies you can get past your range of movement whereas on the mat you can only get down to a certain place because obviously the floor is in the way okay so <clears throat> Whether you're doing this seated, in a chair, standing, the same principles applies. Make sure you've got completely nice straight back. We're going for a shoulder press to start with, okay? Shoulder press. I want you to make sure that you're bringing your elbows down and really squeezing your shoulder blades to press up, okay? Really squeeze, press. Now, I want you to pick a weight where it's challenging, but doable, okay? Because once we get through the rounds, um, you will probably by the time you get to the fifth or sixth round, you'll be like, ah! okay. So there may be times when you, you've picked a weight where you're going down. So I'm going to go for my four kilo weights, okay, for this chest press, um, shoulder press. Um, and I may well need to go down. We'll see. We're going to take a short break between um, rounds of about 15 seconds, 15, 20 seconds, okay. Um, so, I'm using my four kilos. Just make sure you don't lean forward, okay? We want to make sure you're staying really upright. Um, if you are seated, don't lean forward, okay? Um, <clears throat> so, wait to here. Make sure the weight's facing me. Squeeze those as if you're trying to meet your elbows together at the back, okay? Are you ready? We're going for 10 reps, 10 sets. Oh, our upper body is going to kill today. Ready? Exhale at the top, okay? Inhale. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. 
10. Take a rest. Round number two coming up. Ready? Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. No quicker or slower than me. Eight, nine, ten. I'm finding that challenging already, especially because I'm in the seated position because I'm really getting my back engaged at the same time. Ready? Round number three. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So that's round number three. I'm really feeling it on those last few reps, and I need you to be feeling that too, okay? Um, during this strength series, it gives you a really good idea of what weight you want to be choosing. Ready for round number four. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Round number five coming up. If I was in a standing position, I'd probably be able to achieve this a lot better. Um, not a lot better, that's the wrong word. Um, because there's um, less isolation going on, okay, than in the seated position. Round number five, are you ready? Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Round number six. All right there, Frankie boy. Ready? Let's go. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, Ten. Really struggling with those last few now. Round number seven coming up. Getting a sweat on now. <laughs> Woo! Round number seven, let's go. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, round number eight. Ready? Let's go. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Try not to speed it up as well. As it gets more challenging, you're more inclined to like try and rush through the reps. I think I'm a little bit sped up there. I'm going to try and keep it the same tempo. Round number nine. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh! Round number nine. And round number ten. Thank God. Ready? Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ah! Uh, so I really found that challenging towards the end. Um, in fact, every round, the last couple of reps, those last, last couple of reps, reps really count. Right, I'm done now. <laughs> okay, we're going to go for, let me just move my back a little bit. Okay, we're going to go for biceps now. Again, sitting, standing, kneeling, you choose. Okay, so 
because I'm in this position, I can get a really good isolation here because I'm resting my arms and the inside of my knees. Okay, so I'm getting a really good isolation move coming on here. Um, if you're standing, you need to really make sure that your arms are locked in. Okay, so we're going for bicep curls. I may well need to go down on this weight bar, see how I get on. Okay, so make sure your back is straight. You'll be leaning forward slightly in this move, okay, because I'm resting here. So I'm leaning forward slightly, but I'm still engaging my back because I'm in that, this seated position, okay? So, legs nice and wide, sitting up nice and tall. We're going for curls, exactly the same. Um, 10 reps, 10 sets. Let's go. <sighs> Exhale at the bottom. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Round number two. Ready? Let's go. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Round number three. Ready? Let's go. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, these are getting hard. If I was standing again, I'd be able to, um, I would find it a little bit easier. Round number four. Let's go. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, uh, ten. See those last few reps, they're the ones that count. Don't give up on those. Round number five. Ready? Let's go. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh. Round number six. Let's go. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Make sure your arms are going all the way to straight before you come back up. I'm going really sweaty. <laughs> Round number seven. Ah! Was that number seven? I hope so. <laughs> Ready? Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, round number eight. Ready? Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Really struggling with those last few. Round number nine.
Ready? Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, uh, nine, ten. Uh. Round number ten. Ready? Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, mm, ten. Oh, push those thumbs away. Oh, push that hand away. Ouch. Okay, we've got tricep extension now. So you can use your kettlebell if, you were, if you've got a kettlebell that's heavier. Um, or um, I find it e um, easy to handle with one weight. So I'm going to go for the four kilos, just one four kilo. Um, but this is going to be super challenging anyway because it's triceps. So I'm a little bit weaker through my triceps. Um, so we're going for tricep extension. So I hold the weight like this, okay? So behind like this. Sitting up nice and tall, extend, okay? So look how nice and straight I am, okay? Again, exactly the same principle applies. Make sure your elbows are staying close to you, okay? Not out here, okay? And coming all the way up to straight and back down. This is going to be hard. Ready? The first round, you might think, okay, this isn't too bad. <laughs> Ready? Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ready? Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Round number three. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I actually got sweat dripping down my back. Round number four. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. In case you didn't know, by the way, this works through the triceps and you're engaging a little bit through the upper back as well. Okay, ready? Round number four. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I went um, on a bike ride yesterday for two hours and my butt hurts. <laughs> oh. Round number five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Round number six. 
Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm just filling that in the last couple. Uh, make sure that you, you should be able to feel the weight tapping your back, okay, rather than just coming halfway. Ready, round number seven, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ready? Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Round number nine. Let's go. One, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Uh, last round. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten. I was just filling it in those last couple. Arr. Okay, we're going for bent over flies. God, my ears hurts. <laughs> right. So we want to again seated. If you're standing, make sure your back is nice and straight because you might want to do this in this position. Okay because we're going out for flies. Um, if you're sitting in a chair, then you can do it obviously leaning forward or if you're with me here. Okay, so I'm gonna be leaning forward, making sure my back is nice and straight. Okay, so leaning forward, back nice and straight, coming out for flies. So we're really working through the lats and the upper back here. Okay, this is a really good one. Control that posture. Okay, I'm gonna go I'm going to start with my threes, but I really do think I'm going to have to go down to my twos on this one. Let's see how I get on. Okay, so bent over flies. Make sure your back is nice and straight. So when I'm set, sat, set, sat in this position right now, I can really feel my back engaging. Okay, so are you ready? Let's go. One. Slight bend in that elbow, not locked out. Three, four, five, six. Control it down, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, try not to drop the weight down. You want it nice and controlled. Round number two. Let's go. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, this one's going to be tough, isn't that? Round number three. Ready? Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. <laughs> Round number four. Let's go. One, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 
10. Now, in that one, I'm going to try better on the fifth round. I was just dropping from my elbows, so I was coming up to here. I want to come up to here, okay, as if your elbows are trying to lead, okay. Um, that's really gets the upper back. So I could see when I just looked up there on the screen, I can see my arms were almost lifting up first. So I want to make sure it's almost like, okay, your elbows are lifting first. Okay, ready? Let's go. That's better. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, can you feel it? Oh. Mm, round number six. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Jelly arms already. Ready? Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Bye number eight. Oh, well, I don't think I need to go down a weight. I'm struggling, but that's the point. Make sure if you're losing form, then you go down. Ready? Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Round number nine. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten. Oh, round number ten. Ready? Let's go. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, how do you find those ones hard? Okay, we're coming down now. So, I want you lying down, okay? Um, now, if you haven't got a bench, that's fine, you can do this. Um, you can do it with, like we did, did last week, you could do it on a chair with a, in a hip bridge position, or you can do it completely on the floor. Okay, we're going for chest flies. So, just move that into the middle. Um, if you um, feel it in your back as well, um, lift your legs up to this position, okay? Um, I'm quite short, so I'm quite lucky I can actually rest my head on, the, on this. <laughs> um, People that are long may struggle. Um, so I'm going to go for my four kilo weights. So I'm just long enough for my little bench. <laughs> um, now we're going for a chest fly. Now, as I said, the range you can get from a step is good because I can go past my range. Okay, if I was on the floor, I'd only be able to go to there. We want to really push out. Okay, 
Again, exactly the same theme. Feet up if you want to, um, protect your back. Um, but if you can keep it nice, stable, and strong through the core, then have your legs down. Okay, you ready? No quicker or slower than me. Ready, let's go. So uh, my arms are, are, sorry, I'm holding it down. Yes, hold it. <laughs> um, my arms are slight bend in the elbow, okay? One, two, three, four, five, six. That's it, get past the range if you want to step. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Round number two. Ready? Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, ooh, eight, nine, 10. <sighs> Round number three. Ready? Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten. Round number four. So on this one, we're obviously working through the chest. Um, with the chest fly, um, you work much more work central, central and upper. Um, well, you will actually work every part of your pecs, um, and this is a good one for pet, pet boobs. <laughs> Ready? Round number four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, oh, nine, ten. Round number five. Ready? Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten. Woo, round number six. Ready? Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, oh, eight, nine, uh, ten. Round number seven. Let's go. One, two, three, four. Uh, five, six, seven, eight, nine, uh, ten. Just a little bit struggling towards the end there. Round number eight. Ready? Let's go. 
Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Alexa stopped. Alexa, play my dance workout weights on Apple Music. No. <sighs> Ready? Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, eight, nine, ten. Ah, uh, last round. Ready? Let's go. Ah, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, that was hard. Oh, okay. Ready for the next one? Um, we're going for pullovers. So again, you can do this on the ground. The benefit of obviously being on the bench is you can get further down. Now I'm gonna go for my eight kilogram kettlebell for this one. So we're taking the weight overhead, okay? And I want you, where you see I'm flaring up my chest slightly and arching through my back. I want that to happen, okay? Because the put these pullovers are working through the chest and a little bit through the back as well. Okay, um, so we're working through the lats and the chest. And obviously you can get a bigger range if you're here. If not, so I'm gonna slightly bend in my elbows if you're doing this on the ground, just have a straight arm back, okay? <sighs> Ready? As I said, I'm going for eight kilograms here. Oh, this is gonna be hard. Ready? Let's go. Back. <sighs> Exhale on the way up, so you're exhaling fully at the top of the range. <sighs> Two. Three. <sighs> Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine, ten. This one's gonna be tough with this weight. Okay, ready? Round number two. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, getting those triceps working a little bit as well. Round number three. Let's go. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, do I need my six kilogram kettlebell? Well, that's the question. Round number four. 
Let's go. One. Two. Uh, three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Ah, and number five. Can I count properly? It's right number five. I want it to be eight. <laughs> it's five. <laughs> One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. <sighs> Ready? <sighs> Let's go. One, two, three. Four, five, six, uh, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ah. <sighs> Let's go. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Hmm. Round number eight. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ah, oh, round number nine. Nearly there now. Ready? Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm so nearly failing at these, but I'm not. Last round. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, whoa, uh. <laughs> jelly, 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 ow, 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 oh, <sighs> just push your um, thumbs back. <laughs> oh, and take one hand over, stretch out, reach forward, stretch out those shoulders. Oh yeah. That was tough. Super tough. <laughs> um, so please try and join me for Pilates because 
I'm going to continue for the first two exercises I'm going to continue with that theme but you do only need light weights for that one anyway so um, just for the first two exercises oh I'm just going to grab hold of my out feet and pull back for that stretch on my upper back <sighs> Oh, yeah. And then reaching down, pulling down to the ground. Drop your head down and pull back. Oh, that feels good. And just stretch out your triceps quickly. Reach over to the side. Oh, and the other side. And stretch out your chest, much needed. Push your chest out. Well, I hope you enjoyed that brutal, brutal upper body session, um, which we're going to continue in Pilates. Yeah. <laughs>